Before Timothy Delaghetto would parlay his YouTube career to become a cast member on Wild and Out and Guy Code, before his main YouTube channel would boast over 3 million subscribers and 600 million views, before his parody of Call Me Maybe would go viral, before he would famously pay off his parents' mortgage with the success he found in his career, Tim found his passion early on in life as a rapper, also as a video maker and a performer, and he would get his kicks doing rap battles at school as well as joining the school drama club. He then began collaborating with friends and they decided to post their videos first to MySpace and later to YouTube. He chose the name Timothy De La Ghetto from an obscure reference found in the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Who are you? I am Raphael De La Ghetto. <laughs> Around this time, he was working at California Pizza Kitchen, but an infamous tweet, it would result in him getting fired. Luckily, soon after his YouTube career, it took off. My name is Michael McCrudden, documenting the life of Timothy Delegato prior to fame. Okay, it's De La Ghetto. I, I'm not calling the guy Ghetto, he's killing it. Trust me, it's okay. All right, guys, let us know in the comments down below who you want us to document next, and Sophia, she's gonna do some beatboxing at the end. Put it down, I'ma put it down, console. Here at the show, over here in Toronto. Yeah, you know the freestyle's bold. I got the hoodie on, cause I'm feeling kinda cold. Now, the girl in that video, she looked a little bit familiar. Anyway, Timothy Delegato, that isn't in fact his real name, his birth name, help me out. Tim Chantleranksu, he was born on March 6, 1986 in Billings, Montana. His parents immigrated to America from Thailand prior to his birth, a birthing process that wasn't an easy one. And mom, well, she had to get a cesarean section. I think that's why my head is so round, because you know, like no squeezing from the cooch, you know, just my round ass head. His family eventually decided to make the move to east side of Long Beach, but that area was a little rough and tough, so little Tim Tim was enrolled at a Christian school in Gardena, which is at least an hour bus ride through a rough and tough areas like Compton. Quickly, Tim found his calling in the arts and excelled at everything performance based. He would build friends for himself by rapping at recess, and well, he was a pretty popular guy. Things were going so well, he even had a bunch of friends, Will and Johnny, and together they formed their own rap collective known as BAS, which stood for Black, Asian, and Samoan. Outside of school and fun, Timothy was a mega fan of The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, a television show that would have an impact on his career moving forward. Forward, as he decided he wanted to be like Will Smith as a rapper, actor, and eventually a movie star. His comfortable life well, it would be turned upside down when his parents decided to purchase the Thai Smile restaurant in Paramount, California. Although not a huge distance, the move had Tim switching schools to Paramount High, where he felt a little lost and struggled to fit in. To make friends, well, he doubled down on what he knew best. He was rapping, he went under the name Traffic, and he was killing it in all the drama classes. Soon he had a new collective of friends. Together the bunch would have a blast, so they decided to record their antics. They would then submit these videos to whatever online contests existed at the time. They were also using MySpace. This, he was also working odd end jobs. He would help out his parents. He worked at Foot Locker and at California Pizza Factory. But then one day he decided to tweet his detest for the uniform, and that got the attention of head office, who then let him go. His high school graduation was approaching, and he had to decide what he was going to do with the rest of his life. He knew his dream was to become a rapper and performer, a career path that he referred to as the Fresh Prince format. So as he decided to create his own YouTube channel, he decided to borrow an obscure reference from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. You can see it in season one, episode seven. De la Ghetto. He enrolled at Cal State University where he was studying communications and later he switched to art. But then his YouTube channel, it started to pick up some momentum. He decided to drop out of school. From there, he would focus full time on his YouTube channel and there would be ups and downs with his YouTube career. He got shut down for some time because of the masturbation freestyle. But he kept pushing and today is pumping out some of the most cutting edge comedy material. And the rest of the story, well, you know the story because this is before they're famous. My name is Michael McCredden and I'm doing all sorts of celebrity bios on here. I've done a few YouTubers like PewDiePie, Jenna Marbles, Epic Mealtime, Smosh, Epic Rap Battles of History, and Marky Plyler. I just did him a few days ago. So be sure to browse the channel, look around. There's also rappers, there's uh, actors, singers, porn stars, practically anybody who's anybody. Also, let me know in the comments down below who you want me to document next. Also, here is a little bit more of Sophia beatboxing. <laughs> Did you subscribe?